Welcome back, Pre-K. This week we are learning about technology and how it can change our lives. This week we're going to learn about what life was like a hundred years ago. Now, a hundred years ago was a long time ago, and technology then was very different than it is now. Our new book today is called Long Ago and Now. And we're going to see some different things and we're going to compare them and see how they're the same, but we're also going to see how they are different. Are you ready? Here we go. Long ago and now. Life was different a hundred years ago. Look at this classroom. Does this look like our classroom at school? There's a, a wood-burning stove in the middle. Do we have a stove in our classroom to keep our room warm? We don't, do we? We have heaters on the side of our wall. And look at these desks. Do we have desks that look like these? No. And look at the picture. Is it in color? No, it's in black and white. Today our pictures are in color. Back then our pictures were in black and white. That's how technology changes. Long ago, children of all ages went to school in one room. So that would be like our whole school would meet in one big room. And children, they walked to school or rode to school in carriages pulled by horses. Do you come to school in a carriage pulled by a horse? You don't, do you? You ride, kindergartners ride in the bus, and you guys ride in cars or vans with mom or dad, right? Now we go to school with others the same age, and some kids, older kids, walk to school, and others ride the buses or ride in their cars or vans. Long ago, many homes had no running water. Did you know that? They didn't have sinks in their bathroom. And a lot of times, guess what? Their bathrooms were outside. Toilets were outside in a small building called an outhouse. They had to go outside to another building to use the bathroom. And people scrubbed their clothes with a washboard. So they had a bucket of water and they would wash their clothes and scrub it up and down on a washboard in a bucket of water. Now, all of our homes have indoor plumbing. Bathrooms have running water for washing our hands and for flushing the toilet and for taking baths. And we use washing machines to wash our clothes. Look how technology has changed. Long ago, animals and people did most of the work on farms. So a farmer walked behind horses to plow the fields, and farmers had to milk cows by hand. Today, farmers have big machines to help do the work and farmers have machines to milk their cows. Look at the difference. Now in the city, long ago, horses and donkeys and mules, they pulled the subway cars around the city. That's what the subway looked like. The subway is the train that you ride in the city. Back then, they had horses or mules that pulled the trains. Did you know that? Wow. Now, we have electricity. Electricity moves the subways around the cities. No more horses today. Which train do you think goes faster? The one pulling the mule or the one running on electricity? I think the one running on electricity goes a little faster than the one being pulled by the mule. Long 
Long ago, taking care of city streets was very hard work. Workers had to shovel snow off the streets. Look at that. They have shovels and they're putting it in the back of these wagons. And workers checked power lines in horse-drawn carts. Now, workers have special trucks called snow plows to push the snow off the streets. Which one do you think is faster and, and better at picking up the snow? Do you think the big truck or doing it by hand where you had to shovel the snow? It's a lot faster now with our technology. And look at this, bucket trucks lift the workers to check the power lines. See the difference? How technology changes. Long ago, firefighters rode wagons pulled by horses. Look at the wagon that they pulled, which had water in the back. Look at today's fire trucks. Now firefighters ride in fi inside these big fire trucks. Are these trucks pulled by horses? They aren't, are they? Which one do you think is faster and can get to the fire quicker? You're right, today's fire trucks, right? How would your life have been different if you had lived long ago? Here's a store from a hundred years ago and here's a store today. Would you like to have lived a hundred years ago? Just think, having to go outside to the outhouse to go to the bathroom? It would be cold in the winter time. Or having to ride behind a horse in a carriage to go to school? It would be a lot different. So tomorrow, come back and you'll see more technology. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.